In today's video, we're talking about things that stylish men just don't do. Stylish men never forget that it's confidence that enables them to rock any look. A guy can be wearing a suit, he can be wearing casual clothing, but if he doesn't feel good wearing it, he's wearing a costume. So make sure that you practice wearing your clothing because it's confidence that's going to carry the day whenever you're dressed to impress. Make sure that you feel good in that clothing. Stylish men are never afraid to give compliments. We're not stingy with this. We know how much work goes into dressing sharp. So when we see an attractive woman, we're able to pinpoint, wow, she really put herself together. We can be specific when we give a compliment. We see a guy that actually is taking the time to be the best dressed man in the room, maybe even outdressing us. We give him props. We let him know, hey man, you look good. You feel great giving that compliment as good as they feel receiving it. A stylish man never wears his big brother's clothing. I know you're not wearing your brother's clothing, but look at yourself in the mirror. Does your clothing fit your body? That's what I mean. Most guys are wearing clothing that's too large on them. You need to know the name of your tailor. You need to take, and we know this, take your suits to get adjusted, but what about your casual clothing? This is what separates the boys from the men. You take your casual clothing in. Yes, I'm talking your jeans. You get them hemmed instead of letting the bottoms get frayed and torn up. You actually have your trousers brought in. You have all of your shirts darted. Get your clothing adjusted to fit your body. All of a sudden, you're going to look better and you're not going to look like you're wearing somebody else's clothes. A stylish man never forgets to finish off his outfit. You've got a breast pocket on a jacket. Guess what? Stuff it. Put in a pocket square. When you stand up, make sure to button the button here. Don't walk around in a suit without having the right button button. Need help on that? I've got a quick little infographic for you right here. But guys, when it comes down to it, you want to make sure your clothing, you add that final touch on there that's going to make you look great. Now, an area that a lot of guys forget to finish off is the collar. You notice this collar now, how it's laying flat like this. The reason being is collars were not made to stand up without being fully buttoned to be worn with a necktie. Reality is though, most of us are choosing not to wear a necktie nowadays and the look is just sloppy. It doesn't look great because the collar was made to support the face, to build up this area and it doesn't do that when it's laying flat like this. A great solution? Slick Collar. Gentlemen, they're the sponsor of today's video. I'm linking to them down in the description with the best discount code you're going to find out there. They have made it so easy to fix all of your collars. Think about this. You've got all those dress shirts in your wardrobe. This one little device is going to make it so simple that within seconds, you're going to be able to fix this floppy collar. Every Slick Collar comes in two pieces. This makes it basically adjustable to any neck size. So, it doesn't matter if you've got a 13-inch neck. If you've got a 20-inch neck, this is going to work for you. So you put it together just like this, it takes like two seconds. Next up, you're just going to flip your collar up like that and you're going to put the slick collar right here. Now, the fourth part can take the longest and that's when you're flipping the collar down and just making sure it looks right. This usually takes about five seconds if you've got a mirror. And boom, just like that, gents, you got a collar that looks great. And it works great with a suit jacket, a sports jacket, a leather jacket, any type of jacket you throw over that shirt, the collar is still going to look good. My favorite part about this invention, besides how it makes me look better, is how lightweight it is. I don't even notice it's there. Slick Collar was always looking to improve their product and that's exactly what they've done. They've now added high quality silicone grips that ensure the Slick Collar doesn't shift or move around when being worn. Go check them out. I'm linking to them down in the description. I promise you, you're not going to find a better deal. We worked with them to get you guys a huge discount. It's not going to be there forever. And I almost forgot when you use that link down there, you're going to get two slick collars and they've got this thin one. What I really like about this, you can wear it with your polos this summer, this thicker, this bigger one here. It's for guys with bigger necks or guys are going to wear more dress shirt collars. The next thing a shark dressed man never does, he never buys clothing that he's not going to wear. The most expensive clothing you can buy is clothing that you never wear. You know what I'm talking about. It's 90% off. That's great, but it's not your size. It's not going to look good on you and it's just going to sit in your closet. Guys, pass over those deals. It's better for you to save up and then to go buy those core wardrobe pieces. This is what stylish men do. They've got a list. They know what they should have in their core interchangeable wardrobe. So, spend more money on those foundation pieces, great fitted jeans, a suit that makes you look like a million bucks, having those white dress shirts with maybe a few blue dress shirts in there, having 
good quality dress shoes, that's what you're looking to have in your core wardrobe. And related to that last point, a stylish man never drops big money on trend pieces. The issue with the whimsical winds of fashion is that it moves so quickly and you're going to spend a lot of money on something that's often made to be disposable. So, the quality is oftentimes low and it's simply to set out a statement. Again, if you're into fashion, ignore this point, but for most of you guys, you want clothing that's going to serve you. You want something that's going to be in style for a decade so that you can wear it multiple times, that you can get tons of wears out of it. So, a stylish man is never afraid to look in the mirror and say, you know what? I look good. Now, that may sound like a narcissist, it may sound a little bit vain, but here's the deal. First off, let's talk about the practicality. You want to look at yourself in the mirror and make sure you don't have anything stuck in your teeth, there's no stains on your clothing. It is simply you want to be confident in how you look and you use a mirror to be able to see. Now, this next part of the point is really interesting and it comes out of a 2018 study at a Queen's University, Belfast. And what they found is that people that were a little bit, I'm not going to say full of themselves, but confident in their abilities. They've shown that these people can deal with adversity. So, be proud of what you've accomplished. So, stylish men never wear wrinkled clothing and they know how to use an iron. So, how to spot a quality iron? Look at the base plate. Look at the number of holes in here. When you see a lot of holes like this, I can tell that this can be doubled as a steamer and that they've spent a lot of money on the construction. And believe me, the difference between a $10 and $100 iron, it is huge. It's less likely to damage the clothing. Now, a quick little hack on ironing. If you're worried you're going to damage the shirt, turn it inside out and iron it that way. Even if you use a little bit too high of a temperature, you're usually not going to be able to see any damage on from the inside of the shirt. And another hack is whenever you're going and you want to basically get the wrinkles out of your suit, don't press an iron directly against it. Instead, simply use the steam function and the steam will actually pull the wrinkles out. So, a stylish man never wears clothing that works against his body type. So, first up, you need to know your body type. Let me pull up a quick chart here. Look at all the different body types. You want to identify which one you're closest to. Right now, you've got to dress for the body you have. So, if you're a really thin guy, you don't want to wear clothing that maybe has vertical lines that's going to make you look thinner. If you are a round guy, you don't want to draw attention to your midsection by wearing a bright belt. Instead, you want to wear clothing if you're a larger guy but it's going to build up the shoulders like a jacket. If you're a thinner guy, that's going to maybe give you a bit of breadth. So, you're going to want to wear maybe heavier clothing. You want to learn to layer. The point is stylish men know what body type they are and they dress accordingly so that they look their best. A stylish man never wears cheap shoes. So, I did some videos a while back in which I cut a pair of cheap shoes right in half and I cut a pair of more expensive dress shoes right in half. And what's inside will blow you away. Really, on the cheap shoes, you're going to see that they use petroleum products, that everything is really cheap, it's really shoddy. Think about what that does to your foot over time. And here's the thing with cheap shoes. They get worse and worse after every wear. When it comes to more expensive shoes, you can go in and you can look at the inside quality, all the details and what you notice is these are built to last. And good shoes, especially when the upper can be replaced, so they're going to be Blake stitched, they're going to be Goodyear welted, these get better over time. A stylish man doesn't give much weight to unsolicited opinions. So, you're wearing a hat like this and somebody says, oh, looking like Peaky Blinders there. Yeah, you know, is, is that mean to be an insult? Is that actually made to be a compliment? Here's the deal is that you are confident in how this hat looks on you. And you listen to people, yes, that know style, people that you respect, not random people on the web who are going to leave a comment on your picture. You ignore that. You know that you feel great. You know that wearing this hat protects you. It's actually got a function. It's a rainy day. It's going to protect your head from the elements. It's just a great classic look. And when you have the confidence to be able to shrug off other people's unsolicited opinions, believe me, you're going to be able to pull off looks that other men just wish they could. So, stylish men know that there is always a dress code. Doesn't matter if they say there is no dress code, there is. Otherwise, people could show up naked and they don't know, get arrested if they do. Every company, every culture has a certain way that people dress. We mimic each other. We judge people by how they look. I know some of you guys say, oh, not me. No, we all have this shortcut in our brain that we're trying to save energy and we are leveraging what we know of the past to make predictions on the future. All of us have ideas of what a success looks like. Guess what? If you dress to look like a success, people are going to assume you are one. A well-dressed man never forgets his personal hygiene. Doesn't matter how expensive that suit was. People are not going to want to be near you if 
you stink. So make sure to take a shower. Make sure to actually wear a fragrance. Take care of your teeth. I love using an electric toothbrush because it does such a better job. Use mouthwash. Go to a dentist. Don't be afraid to go out there and get your teeth whitened. Get your teeth straightened if it's going to make you more confident. Stylish men are never afraid to be slightly overdressed. Not to be super overdressed. You want to be aware of the situation. You don't want to show up and be awkward. You know, show up to a volleyball game wearing a suit. Just doesn't work. Not functional. But when you you don't know what's going on, you've done your research, you would rather err on being slightly overdressed. It's who you are, it's a way to show respect, and it's better than being underdressed. So, what video to watch next? How about how to dress for your body type? In this video, I talk about each of the body types and then the clothing pieces that are going to complement each of them.